I'm Julian Taylor. This is 106.5 Element FM, the new beat of Toronto. And I'm on the line with two amazing artists. Esquay and Tom Wilson have joined forces and uh, they have a new single coming out called Starless Nights. It's coming out June 4th on Red Music Rising. How are you guys? Nice to see you. And here nice you are. Nice to see you too. Really good. Thanks for taking the time to join me. So, tell me a little bit about this project. You uh, already released one single, Blue Moon Drive, which we play a lot. And uh, how did you guys come together as a team and, and creating music? Oh. Well, we, Tom and I were both invited to perform at the Inspire Awards in Ottawa a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And I was invited to join Tom in his performance, I should say, of Blue Moon Drive, which is the single that we've already released. And the performance was just, you know, it was the first time that he and I had worked together. We've known each other for some time, but that was the first time that we had creatively worked together. And, you know, folks just, folks just loved the magic that came from it. So we thought, hey, let's... <laughs> let's uh it's true let's do this <laughs> sounds great i mean the blue moon drive song is so great i can't wait to hear the next single um tell us a bit about how that came to be because i know that this is a song um that neither of you wrote is that correct it's a, it's written by someone else mm -hmm. that's right isquay knows about that song i just love the song so i get to sit back in the uh in the passenger seat and enjoy it but isquay can tell you all about it I'd love to hear it. So, Starless Nights is written by an incredible songwriter named Misha Bauer. And she wrote this song and performed it at a literary festival that um, we were both sitting on a music panel. And so she performed the song. It was like an acoustic performance. And it was actually my manager. I mean, I loved the song when I heard it, but it was my manager after Misha's performance mm -hmm. that was like, that song is incredible. I wonder, because Misha had stated in her um, presentation that she is a, she loves writing music, but she doesn't um, have the same interest in being like a lead performer, right? So she likes to write for other people. And, mm -hmm. and my manager was like, what if you and Tom did that song together? And I was like, I think you're onto something. So yeah. from there, we just, you know, um, spoke with Misha and, you know, got into the studio, recorded the song, and and you will hear this on June 4th. <laughs> right on, right on. So, Tom, when you first heard the song, was it Misha's version that you heard? Uh, yes, it was. Although, um, uh, it, it, I, I, I kid you not that everything I hear these days and everything I write these days, I, I hear Isquay. Um, <laughs> I hear Isquay's voice these days. And, and, and it's because I'm following because, you everywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a part part of the uh, joy of this project is that I get to uh, write uh, with this way in mind. You know what I mean? Uh, my, my end of the deal is uh, is to try is right now is to try and create more music for this project, which uh, is a joy. This way is a uh, is a fierce performer and an excellent communicator. So um, uh, the, the material that I that I'm gonna that I hope to bring to her, you know, is, is got a really it's a high bar to raise. You know what I mean, Julian? Yeah, I hear um, it. it's not like uh, not, lovely. not like writing for. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're out writing trying to write for a, a radio. It's not like you're trying to write for a, a pop chart. You're writing for uh, somebody a performer that has a lot of depth, and uh, that's a nice place to be. Uh, in in uh, is writing for that. Excellent. Are you guys writing together for this project as well? Like, you know, Zoom call writing, I guess it would be these days. Mm. Not yet. Um, we may. I think that uh, I think that uh, we probably do better off face to face. You know, we hear each other better and uh, understand one another better when we're uh, in the same room. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's itching to see people face to face in person. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. That is the truth. <laughs> yes. Tell us a little bit about how the, the, it was recorded. I'm really curious as to how, uh, how it was recorded, uh, especially during this time. Was, was, was it, were, were you able to be in the same room? Were the lockdowns lifted at the time that this was recorded? Or were you uh, having to do it disjoint, disjointed 
sort of disjointed and, on, and online kind of thing? No, we got in the same room. We, we used uh, we used Jacasa, um, which is a state of the art studio uh, out on the six uh, six nations. Um, it's a facility that's put together for players, yeah. anybody for, for uh, it's a, it's as big as it gets. I, I just was told today that it's actually the Beatles board that they have in yeah. here, which is a cool thing. Uh, if you like the Beatles, I guess, I, you know, which, which most people do. Um, but the uh, project, we actually got to, it's a big enough room, Julian, that uh, we got to put a band on the floor uh, and have them play. So um, just for this project in particular, we use Jesse O'Brien on piano and uh, Ray Ferrugia from Junk House on drums. Um, Anna, uh, Anna Ruddick on Anna bass. Ruddick. And Bill Dillon, I don't know if you know Bill Dillon, but uh, if you have ever heard somewhere down the crazy river or big, uh, I mean, uh, he was basically, he was Daniel Lan was a go-to player. So he, you can hear him on every Sarah McLaughlin record, uh, Joni Mitchell, um, a U2. Uh, and it was nice to have him. And he's a guy that I usually see standing on the corner in my neighborhood smoking cigarettes, but uh, there is uh, there's another giant dimension to him. Uh, when he holds an electric guitar. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing. And he's a nut. He's a nut bar. He's a guitar <laughs> player. Is that what he is? A guitar player? Oh my mm -hmm. god. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm very excited for you. I'm very excited that this project is 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 on its way and it keeps on moving. Can't wait to hear the new single and play it on the station. And uh, also, I'm so happy that you guys were able to do it together in the studio in person. And yeah. And, and celebrate that. So I celebrate you. We yeah. celebrate you here at the station and across the, the, the country and across the globe. I love you guys and uh, wish you nothing but more success, more love and more peace. And uh, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, well, thank Julian. You, Julian. Nice seeing you, Esquay. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> you too, Julian. <laughs> You thanks, know, okay. we're in this virtual world and we'll take, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, me too, me too. Okay. Okay, stay safe. We'll talk See soon. You guys. Graduate. Okay. okay.